make a quick video on HTTP Catcher. It's an app. Uh, it's available in the iOS App Store, and um, it's very similar to HTTP Canary in that, you know, it has the uh, same, I guess you would say, uh, core concept, I guess you would say. Um, so you're able to uh, sniff packets uh, for, from applications. Um, th there are a couple of differences. Obviously, it's a different developer, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but this, this is the app you want to use if you're on an iOS phone. Um, so the app is HTTP Catcher. I will leave a link in the description. Um, so yeah, it's basically for packet sniffing um, and uh, I guess you'd say application debugging. Um, the one caveat I have about it is that um, you have to be able to, you have to know uh, regex um, in order to do uh, rewrites. Um, so it, it's not like uh, HTTP Canary where you could, you know, directly affect it by using, by just using JSON. Um, you do actually have to, to know a bit of regex, which is not really a problem, but at the same point in time, it's a it's minor inconvenience. Anyways, um, so with HTTP Catcher, what you need to do, and by the way, you do not need to jailbreak your phone um, to do this because Apple allows you to install a certificate on the root without having um, jailbreak or whatever, right? Uh, there's other things that go on with Android uh, that, that they don't allow you to install certificates on the root, which is, you know, an inconvenience. An inconvenience because you have to root your phone or you have to root your phone to do that. And it's just like, ah. Anyways, um, so yeah, no, this device is not rooted or sorry, it's not jailbroken. Um, my other, my Android device was jailbroke, uh, was rooted, I guess you'd say. Um, I rooted it myself and um, I ended up having to give my device to my mother. So here I am with my iPhone. Anyways, um, so you go into, so once you download the app, you want to install the certificates and stuff. Um, so you're going to go over to the more section and then you're going to go over to decrypt HTTPS traffic and switch it on. It will have you install a certificate. And if it doesn't have you install the certificate, by the way, you could just access that through advanced settings and then go into CA certificate and then, um, you know, it'll have you re-download that certificate. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to go into your settings. And then what you do next is you go general. Um, it is uh, device profiles and device management. And you make sure that the profile is correct. I've already downloaded it and installed it here. But basically, as you go over to profiles and device management, you just um, click on the HTTP catcher, whatever one you see, and then you download and install it. Like The um, system will prompt you on how to do that. Um, and then you go into the about phone. And then you go into certificate trust settings. And then you just switch over the one for HTTP catcher that you downloaded. Now, I know I've done this a couple times here, but yeah, um, you just switch, you could toggle it on and off. Continue, right? And then you should be able to decrypt HTTP, HTTPS traffic. So you go over to start, and I'm just going to click, like, say, let go here. And I'll be able to see that traffic over here. And no, that's not the right one. Da, 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 da. See, yeah, you'll be able to see the JSON formatted response. But the, the like I said, the one weird thing is having to do the rewrite, and then it's like you got to do regex, so you got to kind of like think about what you need to write. Um, but yeah, anyways, um, that's that, and uh, I will do a couple more videos on this, including one on how to deal with Instagram and the HTTP.